Roman. All right. He got it again. He said he did enough. Hi guys, welcome back with the biggest bodybuilding show of the year, Mr. Olympia 2021 and its entire lineup results. Andrea Presti had first appearance in Olympia. He is the first Olympian after almost three decades who has represented Italy. And I think he has delivered his best package on Olympia stage. He has arrived at last place. Before the contest, many were expecting that Regan is going to be the wild card this time in Olympia but he could only retain his position. Regan Grimes, you know why I bring up his name? Because this kid's my dark horse pick of the Olympia. I think he has made some improvements. He looks slightly sharper this time, but he still needs size to be the real threat in the biggest contest, Mr. Olympia. Patrick Moore is known for having aesthetics with tiny waist, but this time he could not impress judges for improving or at least retaining his spot and he dropped down to the 14th place. He brought almost the same size like 2019 Olympia where he was at 10th place. Patrick still needs some more size to compete against the big boys of the Olympia, but hopefully he will do it while still retaining the incredible shape and symmetry that he showed on this year's Olympia stage. First of all, I really admire the momentum and consistency of Hassan Mustafa for competing back to back in most of the pro shows this year. He competed in 7 out of 11 Olympia qualifier shows. He's genetic freak, there is no doubt in it, he's complete, big and full, but his off conditioning is hampering him from performing better and when he nails his conditioning, I think he's going to crush a lot of big names in the sport. I hope he finds the right formula for him under the supervision of coach Chris Aceto. James Holling said, Skip last year even when he was qualified, he wanted to make some crucial improvements for his first crack in Olympia and he expected to be top 6 Olympian in his debut. But he could not sway the judges and ended up taking 12th place. Although he was much sharper, his legs were very impressive. But in my opinion, he could have a little bit bigger arms and wider back. But then again, it's just his first Olympia, so hopefully he comes much stronger next year. Rolly Winkler, I think he was big, but he did not have the fullness, roundness and his freaky look he used to have and for which he is well known. It looks like he was chasing size after disappointing performance in Chicago Pro. But he could not beat his 2018 best version where his legs, specifically his hamstrings, looked bigger. He is 44 years old and the oldest contender in the lineup this year. And I honestly think he still has the potential to perform better and I hope he does not give up and keep competing in few more seasons. Another Egyptian freak, Mohammed Shaban, has ended up taking 10th place in his second arrival in Olympia. He was not even top 15 in his first Olympia which was 2019, but this time he definitely came much better. He has put on almost 25 pounds of quality muscle, exclusively his legs are much bigger now. I think his quads are too big for the rest of his body which looks disproportionate, but overall his condition was spot on. He qualified for Olympia by point standings which means he could not win any pro show this year. but he still managed to beat six Olympians in the lineup. Arguably, Akeem Williams did not bring improvements this year in conditioning department. As we all know, he has mass and structure, but if he nailed his conditioning, he could be mixed in top five. Although his conditioning was slightly better last year, where he took sixth place. But this time, other athletes brought their top-notch condition, so Akeem had to settle for ninth place only. Justin Rodriguez by far has presented the best package on Olympia stage. He made a debut in 2018, then last year he was at 10th place and now he has managed to take solid 8th place. His physique combines the sharp conditioning with his great structure and size and he keeps making improvements and presumably he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. 7th place finisher Ian Vallier from Canada has retained his spot again this year even though his improvement were clearly visible. 
He was in excellent shape, displaying more thickness with good definition and conditioning. Although I think Justin had much better structure and flow in his physique. William Bonak could not sway the judges this time and the tough competition had him dropping down to the 6th place, which means he will have to earn qualification for the next year Olympia. By comparing his 2019 version, his chest looks better in 2019, which can be noticed easily and also his legs has lost details this time, especially he does not have quad sweep which he had in 2019. I strongly believe William will be back again with his excellent physique next year to improve his placing. The most surprising development of the 2021 Mr. Olympia was the rising star Nick Walker who has beaten a lot of big names on Olympia stage and he has proved his potential to everyone with his incredibly well-built physique and his insane level of conditioning. Number 1 Nick wanted to win the Olympia but he took 5th place which is definitely great achievement for such a young and very talented athlete. What's he missing bro? Nothing, he just won the Arnold. <laughs> then how are you going to beat him? He ain't missing nothing, how are you beating him? And That's he because he won't. Because he won't. Huh? By running my race. Huh? By running my race. Hunter Labrada was not even in the discussion for fighting with frontrunners of the show but unexpectedly he shocked the bodybuilding world and took 4th place and it's a very proud moment for his father Lee Labrada. I think Nick was superior in conditioning standpoint whereas Hunter had advantage in symmetry. He was more symmetrical and his structure was obviously better apart from his pack tear which is clearly noticeable in front shots. Hadish Pan has brought by far the best condition on Olympia stage. He was extremely sharp, I think the most shredded athlete on stage. He has cross striations on his chest. His vacuum was just astonishing. His back was undeniably much improved, specifically his back double bicep shot. Also his legs were very well separated but they look downsized compared to his previous performances. And there was a prominent issue on his front shoulder which presumably did not allow him being top 2 in Olympia, in my opinion. But I personally wanted to see him at second place because of his crazy conditioning. If he had the size of 2018 and conditioning of this year Olympia, I do not think Brandon could beat him whatsoever. Former Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry has brought 10 pounds heavier physique to dethrone Big Remy and I think he has given a very tough competition to reigning champ. His fantastic upper body with his small waist and blowing lats and chest makes an imposing physique on stage. And I have to mention that Brandon continues to bring up his legs development which is very impressive. But his upper body is still very dominant compared to his legs. Although he was not shredded like last year Olympia but he was still clearly dominant in conditioning standpoint compared to big Remy. In prejudging Remy was leading just by one point but in the finals Remy significantly improved. He actually lost 3 pounds to improve his conditioning and won his second consecutive Olympia title. But I still think it was not an easy victory for Remy. If he could not improve his conditioning in finals, I think possibly Brandon could defeat him. Unfortunately, not even an improved 2019 Mr. Olympia champion Brandon Curry could defeat the dominating physique of big Remy this year. Remy was just too big and too wide for anyone to defeat, even it was not the same Remy condition wise we saw last year. So congratulations to Big Remy for winning second time the send out trophy and earning $400,000 prize money. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for other divisions results. Big Remy! Alright. He got it again. He said he did enough. He said he didn't knock the champion out. Yes. And if you want to be unbeatable in the gym or outside of the gym, you must try one of the best and well-known clothing brand in bodybuilding, Gorilla Wear, which is giving 25% off whatever you buy. Just use code 
Camin25 and get 25% off on your entire purchase on GorillaWear.com. You can also find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and keep sporting. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Thank <laughs> you.